Tesla Cybertruck latest crash test updates, Cybertruck deliveries, and what has been confirmed. How safe would a Tesla Cybertruck be in an accident? By all means, Tesla proved Cybertruck to be an excellent choice if you need a pickup. But how would it perform in case of any crash? Joe Techmeyer, a popular YouTuber and drone pilot, recently spotted Tesla doing a crash test with the Cybertruck at the brand new Gigafactory in Texas. And he even caught six Cybertrucks all prepped and ready to roll out. Today, we are excited to share the latest updates and thoughts on the safety features of the Cybertruck in this video and what those six trucks in the lot might mean. Tesla has a crash test lab over in Fremont, California, but with the Texas Gigafactory churning out Model Ys and gearing up for Cybertruck production, it totally makes sense that they'd want a crash lab there too. Plus, rumor has it that they'll be crafting their new next-gen compact vehicle there too. So that crash lab's gonna be busy. Speaking of safety, have you heard Lars Moravie from Tesla, their vehicle engineering bigwig, chat about the Model Y's safety design. It's all about the front end, designed specifically to keep our folks inside the car safe during those nasty head-on collisions. Moravie's got two golden rules. As Moravie says, we prioritize two rules at Tesla. First, protect the occupants, and second, protect the battery. If you were to peek under the car, you'd find this genius setup, a bumper beam, a crush can, and a brand new front underbody casting that they just started using in Austin. The whole system is designed to take in the shock from crashes, especially those under 20 miles per hour. It's all about controlling that crash energy, making sure it doesn't get anywhere near passengers in the cabin. And they've thought about bigger vehicles and all sorts of objects on the road. The car has multiple pathways to distribute the crash force, both high and low. Plus, they've got this vertical load transfer system which moves the car's drive unit away from us and the battery when things get dicey. And if you were wondering about side impacts, they've got that covered too. They direct the car's energy away from any side obstacles. Now for the Cybertruck. It's a Tesla, so you bet it's got all those safety bells and whistles, and probably even more because it's their next-gen vehicle. On a side note, Elon Musk recently hinted about a possible scratch-proof coating for the Cybertruck. He's talked about something nearly as tough as a diamond. From Joe's footage, it looked like the Cybertruck had a front-end collision. The frunk was all smashed up, airbags popped, and it seemed like the front left fender took a serious hit. I think it was an offset frontal impact test, mainly because of that warning tape placement. And although the front showed some damage, especially on the left, I'd say the truck held up pretty well. Oh, and one more thing. Remember when Elon said the Cybertruck windows would be bulletproof? Well, it seems they might not be crashproof. The front left window shattered at the edges during the test. As we continue looking at the rear of the Cybertruck, there's another interesting detail that catches the eye. The door appears a bit misaligned after the impact. This suggests that the frame of the truck has effectively transferred some of the energy to the rear, indicating the presence of a decent-sized crumple zone. However, to truly assess whether sacrificing the front trunk or frunk in a collision is a life-saving trade-off, We'd need more concrete numbers and data from this test collision. It would have been great if we could have a peek at the wheels, but that odd angle of the fender implies that it was probably torn away from the suspension. The design is not only typical for modern vehicles, but also aligns with the predictions made by industry veteran Sandy Monroe and his team back in August. They've been analyzing any new images of the Cybertruck they could get their hands on for the past year. In August, a motorist came across a covered Cybertruck parked by the side of the road, seemingly waiting for a tow. They managed to snap some pictures of the suspension, and the Monroe team went into detective mode. This was our first good look at the underbody and its structure. Based on these structural clues, Monroe's team made an educated guess that the front end of the truck is constructed with aluminum, designed to allow the wheels to tear away from the truck in case of a collision. This design approach is common in most modern vehicles, as it helps prevent the wheels from getting entangled in the crash and potentially intruding into the cabin, endangering the occupants. Once again, seeing the wheels would have been great for confirmation, but that fender is a pretty clear indicator. Now, let's talk about the regulatory side of things. Tesla needs a Certificate of Conformity from the Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, and approval from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, or NHTSA, based on crash test results. Getting the EPA certificate is relatively straightforward, 
You just need to demonstrate that your vehicle meets the required legal standards and specifications. However, crash testing can be a bit trickier, as it's not always clear if a new vehicle will pass until it's put to the test against a concrete wall. In August, two Cybertrucks were seen heading north from Texas, possibly to an NHTSA testing facility. Recently, dusty Tesla Cybertruck release candidates were spotted in Northern California. YouTuber Muddy Rutz praised their air suspension, and Hungary's president, Katalin Novk, met Elon Musk at Tesla's Austin Gigafactory, discussing various topics and test driving the Cybertruck. So it looks like Tesla's private crash lab has been getting some attention lately, even though it seemed like the government crash testing was already done. What's the deal with that? Well, there could be a few reasons behind it. First off, it's possible that the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration needed some additional data for their evaluation, and they asked Tesla to run some extra crash tests. Instead of hauling trucks back and forth, Tesla probably figured it made more sense to do the tests in their own Texas facility. But here's another interesting twist. Elon Musk, Tesla's CEO, dropped a hint about a high-performance version of the Cybertruck. He described it as next level when it comes to performance. Now, Tesla has already announced a tri-motor Cybertruck with impressive specs, but there are rumors swirling about a quad-motor variant that could be even more powerful. So these tests might just be the final step in certifying this new beast. And let's not forget about those previous crash tests and that rollover test. It's been a little bit of a roller coaster ride for Tesla lately, with a delay in the Cybertruck's delivery event from September to October. Nobody wants to see it pushed into November or December because of some unexpected hiccup in the crash tests, right? Speaking of delays, in the third quarter of 2023, Tesla's sales dipped slightly, selling around 435,000 units, which didn't quite meet Wall Street's expectations. However, Tesla and its investors aren't losing sleep over it. They saw it coming due to facility upgrades and Cybertruck development. Tesla's still going strong in the EV market, outselling competitors like Chevrolet by a landslide in the USA. Cybertruck is expected to provide Tesla's vehicle volume a boost. While Wall Street is forecasting 92,000 units for 2024, the actual deliveries could be in the range of 200,000 units. Adding 40 cents per share in incremental earnings per share, according to Future Fund's Gary Black. Plus, their Class 8 semi is turning heads with its endurance, hinting at a future where electric trucks might replace diesel ones. Tesla's got a lot of irons in the fire, like the Tesla Semi, power storage systems, and charging technology, all aimed at securing their place in the future market. Now, let's talk data. Tesla's not just randomly smashing cars in the lab. They're analyzing tons of data, lab crash tests, computer simulated tests, and real-world crash data from their connected vehicles. This data helps them design cars that can handle real-world crashes, and it also fine-tunes their lab tests based on what they learn from real-life situations. So when the NHTSA eventually gets around to crash testing the Cybertruck, everyone's expecting it to do exceptionally well thanks to its size, mass, stainless steel shell, and Tesla commitment to safety. Don't be surprised if this facility also gets busy testing Tesla's new compact vehicle. Word on the street is that it might be produced at Gigafactory, Texas, which is just around the corner. Speaking of Gigafactory, Texas, production of the Cybertruck hit a brief pause for upgrades on the Model Y production line. But don't worry, it's back in action now, so the Cybertruck production lines are up and running. So all in all, things seem to be on track for Tesla's Cybertruck. They're making progress at Giga Texas, and they're aiming to start deliveries before the year wraps up. Meanwhile, Tesla is also building a unique supercharger station in Hollywood, California, with 32 superchargers and a two-story restaurant for a drive-in movie experience. There were some permit issues during construction, but it's officially underway, aiming to open by December. Exciting stuff! What are your thoughts on the Cybertruck's safety features? Are you excited about its imminent deliveries? Share your opinions in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell for all the latest Tesla updates. Thanks!